the grinds, the quests. There is so much to do in RuneScape, so much to explore. Today we will be exploring the rich history of RuneScape. If you really want to understand the game you are playing, you must know its history. Today we will be looking into the history of one of the best known gods in RuneScape, Guthix. This god, while not being the creator of Gilinor, has been a very important figure in the history of Gilinor. To figure out who Guthix actually was, we have to look into his history. You may not know this, but Guthix was not a god from the start. Guthix used to live on a planet called Naragun. His planet consisted of peaceful farmers, craftsmen, hunters and light sculptors. We don't know what Guthix did as an occupation, but we do know he was just a normal native inhabitant of the planet. These native inhabitants are called the Naraji, which were tall creatures that could live for thousands of years at least. Guthix lived a peaceful life with a wife and a daughter. His wife, Frege, died when his daughter, Agi, was young. This peaceful life ended when a portal began appearing near the biggest city on that planet, called Asgorth. The Naraji wanted to welcome new visitors from Asgorth, and already had a feast ready, but the visitors weren't friendly. The young god called Saradomin came into the city with his armies and claimed ownership of the world. The Naraji didn't surrender, and Saradomin decimated Asgorth. Some Naraji tried to resist, and baited another god called Tusker to attack Saradomin, hoping they could flee in the process. Saradomin begun to regret his actions, and tried to save the Naraji world from Tusker. After a lot of defeats, Saradomin later retreated and left the Naraji world. Skaragoth, a god that loved to hunt other gods, hunted Tusker and fought with her on Naraji. Tusker lost an eye and threw Skaragoth on top of Guthix's house with his daughter inside. Because of this, Guthix's daughter died, so he picked up the sword that Skaragoth had dropped and gouged out Tusker's remaining eye, after which Tusker fled. Following that, he killed Skaragoth, who had just regained consciousness. However, the sword transferred the energy from Skaragoth to Guthix, and Guthix himself became the thing he feared and despised. All his friends and family were murdered, so Guthix left his ruined planet of Naragun and began to travel. Over the centuries, Guthix discovered a lot of different realms and races, and admired those races for their balanced lives, tending neither towards good nor towards evil. On one occasion, he visited the world of the Elves, where he befriended their crystalline goddess Seren, who shared his views of balance to an extent. After all he had witnessed, he wanted to create what he considered a perfect, balanced world without gods. This plan became a reality when he found Gilinor. This planet was empty, but still a perfect creation. The sword Guthix wielded was, in fact, an elder artifact, and he found even more on Gilinor. He found the horn, the staff, and even the stone of Jas. Presumably, the elder gods were already sleeping under Gilinor when Guthix found it. Guthix used these items to shape the world of Gilinor to what it is known as today, and claimed ownership of it, desiring for it to be inhabited by mortals living in balance. He invited Seren and the elves to live with him, to which she agreed, and settled in Taranwen. Seren and Guthix became very close. Guthix brought more races into Gilinor. He instructed all the races to live in balance with the world. He gave the humans the ability to use magic through rune stones that he created from the Stone of Jas. These runes eventually caused the name Gilinor to fall into disuse as its inhabitants began to call it RuneScape instead. The inhabitants began to worship Guthix, much to his disgust. 
They built temples and made sacrifices in his name. Guthix began to show himself less and less to try to get the inhabitants to stop worshipping him. After 4,000 years, he decided to leave. He asked Seren to leave with him, but eventually she decided against it. Guthix went underground and began to sleep, ending the first age. While Guthix slept, RuneScape began to attract other gods who did not share their beliefs about balance and peace. Saradomin and Zaros rapidly conquered territory, and the latter would establish the largest empire the world would ever know. Guthix's plan for a world without gods had failed, and the followers of the different gods clashed in the Second Age. The Guthixians began to decline in number, and even his runestones were becoming scarce. However, a Fremenic seer discovered the Stone of Jass in a mine and learned the art of runecrafting. This led to a schism in Fremnic society. At the end of the Second Age, Zaros was betrayed by his general, Zamorak, after which Zaros disappeared from RuneScape. Zamorak became a god in the process and declared war on Saradomin to reobtain the stone which had been confiscated for him. Thus started the Third Age and a God War. The God Wars would last for 4,000 years and they saw the deaths of millions, the extinction of multiple races and the annihilation of many settlements on RuneScape. At the end of the wars, Zamorak somehow obtained the Stone of Jass but was cornered by Saradomin, Armadil and Bandos. In what he thought to be his last stand, he tapped from the stone and unleashed a wave of destruction over the area. As a result, the entire continent of Ferinthri was obliterated, now known as the Wilderness, which had afterwards turned into a lifeless wasteland. So great was the destruction that scarred the land that the Anima Mundi itself is said to have cried out in agony, thus waking Guthix after six millennia of slumber. When Guthix woke, he saw what happened to his world, and in fury and grief he took the stone and used it to create portals through which he banished all the fighting gods from Gilinor with little effort, he being stronger than they. Then Guthix used the Stone of Jass to create a physical barrier around RuneScape called the Edicts of Guthix, which prevented any god from setting foot on RuneScape again. Therefore Zamorak, Saradomin, or any of the other gods are not present on RuneScape today. This was how Guthix played his part in the history of RuneScape. Where he is today, we do not know, but we can speculate that he went to sleep again beneath RuneScape. Let's look at the religion and followers that Guthix started. Guthix was the god of balance and wished to have a world without gods where mortals could live in peace and balance without their interference. He made a quote that depicts him very well. I am beyond good or evil, I am simply Guthix. Despite never wanting it, Guthix gained followers that worship him. These followers are called Guthixians. We can divide these followers into two general groups, the modernists and the traditionalists. The modernists make up the majority of Guthixians. They tend to have an opinion on the gods and choose for evil or good. They often adopt the ideas of one of the other two major gods, Zamorak or Saradomin. The traditionalists are in much fewer numbers than the modernists. They are a bit stricter to the belief and teachings of Guthix's ideals on balance and nature. Important NPCs who serve Guthix are... Most of us know Juna from the Tears of Guthix. She is the great serpent that lays in front of the entrance, but few know of her purpose or history. Juna is the legendary guardian of Guthix. These guardians were picked by Guthix himself to protect certain points of interest. Juna was tasked to protect 
to the tears of Gothics. She is very ancient and is known to have been on RuneScape in its second age, thus making her well over 6,000 years old. The Druids in Taverly. Taverly is a small village northwest of Falador. This village is mostly inhabited by Druids. North of this village is a stone circle which is used to worship Guthics. The stone circle south of Varrock was also used to worship Guthics, but has not been used since the demon Delrith was summoned there. The Druids have a simple lifestyle and live in balance with nature, being very skilled in herb lore and loving nature. The Gnomes Gnomes generally love nature, making their homes in treetops and living in heavily wooded forests. They have unique, illusionary, stealthy, Guthixian and spiritual magic, using hybrid elven gnomic machinery and meditation to amplify it. Maybe the gnomes use an elder artifact for their magic, but they could also be so in tune with the nature of Gilinor that they can use the anima mundi from the planet itself to power their machinery. Void Knights, protectors of Gilinor, found at the Void Knight outpost. The Void Knights are the main human fighting force of Guthics. Their duty is to maintain the balance that Guthics created in Gilinor. These knights fight creatures that upset the balance of Gilinor, and they send out humans in ships to help them. I hope you have learned everything you need to know about the history of Guthics. His story was a tragic one, but in the end he did help to create a thriving planet. Thanks for watching this episode of RuneScape Lore and History. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like this content. Have a great day.